Hi guys, welcome to Verbling. My name's Joe, and today we're going to be working on improving our pronunciation by looking at some news articles. So some people should be joining right now, and then we'll get started. Hi guys. Hello. How are you? Good. What time is it now there? Here it is 12.02. Ah, 12. Eight yeah. hours difference. Oh, wow. That's a big yes. difference. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so we, we, can, we can go ahead and get started. So, hi, guys. My name's Joe um, from the United States. And like I said, today we're going to be working on improving our pronunciation. So we're going to be looking at some news articles. However, before we get started, um, I'd like you guys, there are only three people here, so um, I'd just like you guys to introduce yourselves by saying your name, country, and your favorite sport, and then we'll get started. So I'll go first. My name is Joe from the United States, and my favorite sport is soccer. Is so we'll skating a sport? Skate, yeah, skating. Skating is a sport. Do you like sport. skating? Yeah, skating's cool. I actually used to skate. Okay. That's pretty cool. All right, um, we'll do. Let's start with Maria. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, now we can. I'm swapping headsets here. Okay. So mm -hmm. uh, yes, my name is Maria, and I live in Sweden. And my favorite sport is that one is tricky, but I think floor hockey is a nice sport. <laughs> floor <laughs> hockey. Floor yeah, hockey. you know what? It, yeah, it's like uh, hockey indoors. Ah, uh, like, okay. Mm, you have like a plastic ball, <laughs> and you have. Is it is it popular uh, in Sweden? Yeah, yeah, we do a lot oh. of indoor sports in the winter time. Huh, yeah, I think, I mean, there. I forgot there's this weird, like, hockey where you use, like, these weird uh, paddles that are, like, they're, like, rubber, and the ball's rubber, and I know you play it, like, kind of like regular hockey, but obviously you're not on ice skates or anything. Um, it, yeah, it's indoors, like, in, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Is this I'm, new to you? You don't have yeah, it in the United States? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. I actually I looked it up. Um, yeah, we don't have floor hockey. We have like ice hockey and roller hockey, but we don't have floor hockey. Okay. I don't play ice hockey. It's a little bit too rough for me. I, it is pretty rough. <laughs> <laughs> it's like American football, but I don't know. But, but like ice. on ice, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think that's why a lot of Americans love it because like a lot of people like are pretty rough about it, and it's called like when you're when you run into somebody like duck yeah. down and run to them. That's called checking them. Yeah. So like a lot of people go to see other people get checked and like people start fights. So, oh, oh, so they like, like that. Oh, girls girls play such a rough sport in Sweden. Guys, yeah, yeah, girls play ice hockey as well. Some girls too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That is that this is, is the country of uh, equality, so Everything that guys can do, can girls do. Yeah, so. we we have something similar, kind of. I mean, I mean, like we have this thing called Title IX, where, um, so for example, at a high school, at a public high school, if there's a girls, like if a girl wanted to play on the football team, mm -hmm. she is allowed to. She is allowed to try out, since there isn't a girls football team. Okay. Um, as in like as in like American football. Um, okay. Same with volleyball. So like if a guy wants to. Uh, try out for the volleyball team, and we only have a girls team. Like at my high school, we only did, but mm -hmm. they're allowed to. Like that's what Title IX allows. So it's like kind of the equality thing, like you were saying. It's good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's I like good. it. Though. If it works, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fair. It's fair. Yeah. Um. Okay. All right. Uh, Miyuki. Yes. Uh, my name is Miyuki. I'm originally from Japan, but I live in Hungary. And my favorite sport is badminton. Badminton? Yes. Uh, when I was a junior high school student, I was a member of badminton club. 
Oh, really? That's so cool. Yeah, at my high school we had – we only had women's badminton, but I think two or three of uh, the badminton team members went to state and competed. That's wow. really cool, though. I like badminton. It's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a tough sport. I mean, like, you think it's really easy, but to be good at it, it's tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah you are right. Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, ten? Hello, my name is Chen. I'm from Vietnam. And my favorite sport uh, is volleyball. It's volleyball. Because Vol yeah. um, I live near the beach. So my friend and I usually play volleyball on the beach. Usually we play badminton too, and also soccer. But I like volleyball too. Vo oh, sand vol I'm actually playing sand volleyball at my college right now because we're doing this thing called intramural where it's like teams. Um, you know, you get a, you get a group of you get a team together with people who go to the university, and we're in a league. It's oh, I love I love volleyball. Actually, I think mm -hmm. that's that's probably my favorite sport too. I mean, I like that more than soccer. I love it's watching it too. Yeah, it's fun to watch too. It's, it gets intense. Yeah. All right, um, Juan. Uh, hello. Hi. How are you? Pretty good. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Can you tell us your name, uh, where you're from, and favorite sport? Okay. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Juan Carlos. I'm from Peru. I'm 18 years old. And well, actually, I don't like to to play sport, but I'd like to learn to work. Well, I'd like to practice painting. It, it, it's cool, I think, but I have to say that. Wait, can you, Juan, can you say that one more time? It was a little hard to hear you. You like to practice what? Oh, I like to practice tennis. Tennis? Yes, tennis. Tennis. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, Lisette? Is that how you pronounce your name? Lisette? Actually, my name is Aster. Oscar, Oscar, okay. okay. <laughs> my name is Oscar. I am from Costa Rica. My favorite sport is chess. 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 Oh, I love ch chess. is so fun. My little brother, who's six years old, is in a club, and so sometimes I play him, but he usually beats me. <laughs> but chess is a sport. Yes. I mean. I mean, it depends on who you're asking. Some people might say no. Some people might say yes. I, I think it's a sport because, one, it's competitive, and it's challenging. So you could call it a sport. Most people, you know, when you think when you think of sports, you don't think of, like, chess or checkers or... Trying to think of any. Scrabble. That could be a sport. There, there are Scrabble competitions. Um... So yeah, it's it's a sport. Um, okay. So okay, so we have some, yeah. I have a question. All right. I don't know how to say it. Is it okay if I if I say I I don't like to play a sport or I don't like to do a sport? Yeah. So you say I don't like to play sports. Okay. Thank you. Uh huh. Good question. Okay, so we have two more people, I think, two new people. Uh, Juliana Costa. Hey, hi, Joe. How are you? Um, what Good, are you supposed you? to say? Um, our names? Um, Country and okay. favorite sport. Okay, my name is Juliana. I'm from Brazil, and my favorite sport is sleeping, I guess. Sleeping is not okay. Sleeping <laughs> is not a sport. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I practice no. it every day, <laughs> and I'm very no, no. good at it. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on, a real sport. Or, okay, so Miyuki, <laughs> sleeping is not a sport. <laughs> no, come. <laughs> Cause um, it is not competitive. You do not. Who are you competing against? Um, the pillow. <laughs> everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't actually play sports. Um, I like swimming, but I don't do this very often. 
Okay, well, so so it means okay. We'll count. We'll count swimming, better than sleeping. <laughs> yeah, but sleeping comes first. Okay, fine. All right, sleeping, swimming. Okay, but you do, you swim, so that is a sport. So good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I think we have three more. Uh, Jorge V. Yes. Can you introduce yourself by saying name, country, and favorite sport? Okay. Uh, I'm from. Um, my name is Jorge, and my favorite sport. Um, I really don't have favorite sport, but uh, I ride bike every day. Every day. Okay. Bike bike riding is good too. Cycling. Uh, where did you say you're from? Chile, South America. Chile. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, two more. Daniela. Hi. Yes, I'm Daniela from Brazil, and. I don't play soccer, but I like watching. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Yeah, soccer is a lot. Of, uh, I think it's a lot of fun to watch. One of the funnest sports that, and um, basketball is a lot of fun to watch. All right, cool. Uh, last one we have is Deheya. Deheya Yusuf. Your microphone may be muted, um, so if you click to the up here. You can unmute it. Yes. Hello. 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 Can you introduce yourself by saying your name, country, and favorite sport? Maybe he is having some difficulties. Okay. Well, uh, hopefully you can figure that out, but we'll go ahead and get started. So, hi guys. Um, my name's Joe, like I said, and today we're going to be improving our pronunciation. So, what we're going to be doing is looking at some news articles on Yahoo News. So, what we're, uh, I'm going to pick out the first article, and then I'm going to paste the link for you guys, and then I'm also going to pull it up on my screen. And then... What, what the way we're going to do this is I'm going to select like three sentences, three or four sentences, and then people will volunteer to read. And when they read, we will try and figure out if there are any words that they could improve uh, their pronunciation on. And then you guys will also get a chance to improve your pronunciation by um, saying words or repeating words after me. And then I'll also be defining them if you have any questions about vocabulary, expressions, etc. So that's the way we're going to do this. Uh, yes, Tan, the Super Bowl is tomorrow. Um, the, th the sad thing is, you know, it's one of, like, the biggest things in the United States, but I don't watch football, and I don't even know who's playing tomorrow. I'm guessing... I don't know. I actually, I don't know who's playing tomorrow. I'll be honest. Um, but yes, it's, it's really big, and it's tomorrow. Uh, okay, so... Um, before... So I'm going to choose this article, so... What section would you guys like me to pick an article out of? We have U.S., something going on in the United States. We have world. We have business. We have entertainment. We have sports, uh, technology, politics, and science. So anybody is welcome to say whichever one they'd like to read from. World or U.S. <laughs> World or U.S. Okay, how about let's do let's do world, um, since we're all from different places. Uh, there are other suggestions here. Technology, someone. Technology. Somebody. Oh, okay. Technology and sports. Okay, so, um, so we've got three choices. Anybody else want to second a choice? Um, I think world is okay. Yeah, for me world. too. Is everybody else okay with world? Oh, work. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we've got, f we'll, we'll do world, and then if we have time, we'll do technology, science, and sports. So, um, let's, okay, so now we have Middle East, Europe, Latin America, Africa, Asia. Let's do, <laughs> let's just, let's do one that, you know, nobody's from, let's do Australia. Yeah. Since, since, uh, that's pretty neutral. Um, okay, live. Let's do this one, okay. UK, so it says, UK. No charges for Australian royal hoax DJs. So, uh, I'm going to post the link, like I said. There it is. 
And if the Verbling chat is not working for you, it's also in the Google chat. So go ahead, open that up. I'm going to open it up on my screen, and then we will get started. Um, okay. So we're going to do, we're going to start off with these two sections. So I'm highlighting the sections um, that we're going to start off with, which is just the first two sections. So it's, it reads London AP, and then the next section reads two Australian DJs. So um, would anybody like to volunteer and read first? Me. I would uh, like, but no. <laughs> no one. A lot of people want to start. Okay, so you guys will all get a chance. So, um, I don't know whoever whoever wants to go first. Is it just the first? Uh, just sentence, the first two. The, f the first <laughs> two sentences. So it's British prosecutors. Blah blah blah. Okay. Then then notice the par the break where and then it's two Australian DJs. So those two. Okay. I'll do it so then I can okay. do it myself for some time. Uh, London AP, British, British prosecutors said Friday they will not press charges against two Australian DJs over the royal ho ho hoax. Hoax call they go. preceded in hoax call that preceded a nurse's suicide. Okay. Two Australian DJs impersonated. Oh, okay, that's enough. Okay. Sorry, yeah, no, no, no. I was just gonna stop you after the sentence, so then um, that way we can like break it up and look at each individual okay. sentence. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, um, yeah, that word is is difficult. So I'm going to say it, and then you guys can repeat it after me. Hoax. 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 Good. Okay. Um, and then the other word. Uh, that Maria pr pronounced it correctly, but I'm going to repeat it because it's a it's a difficult word. It's prosecutors. Prosecutor. 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 Yeah, good. Okay, one more time. Prosecutors. Prosecutors. Prosecutor. Good, good, good. I think everybody got that. Um, and then let's do this word too. Proceeded. 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 Yeah, so uh, prosecutors, hoax, and proceeded. Good. Okay. Um, are there any other words you guys want me to pronounce? Or, or which word? Okay. Um, okay. So we'll we'll do vocabulary after Maria's done reading. So Maria, will you continue with the next sentence, please? Okay. Two Australian DJs impersonated Queen Elizabeth II and her son, Prince Charles, as they phoned London's King Edward VII Hospital in December to ask about the condition of the Duchess of Cambridge, formerly Kate Middleton, who had been hospitalized for treatment of acute morning sickness stemming from her pregnancy. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, so... I don't think I heard it. I mean, your pronunciation sounded pretty good. I don't think I heard anything. Uh, but I'm going to repeat repeat a few words, and then if you guys want me to repeat any others, let me know. So the first one is impersonated. Impersonated. Good. One more time. Impersonated. 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 Good. 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 Impersonated. Okay. Um. Then I'm trying to think of any other. Okay, how about are, are there any words that you guys would like me to pronounce? Mm. Acute, acute. Yes, acute? it's a, acute. 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 Uh huh. Acute. Acute. Any other words? Yeah. How do you say King Edward? The seven or seventh or how yeah. do you say that? So as they phoned London's King Edward, this I would say just like you said it, King Edward the Seventh's Hospital. Okay. So I mean I know when you look at it, it doesn't look like that, but that's I think how you would read it out loud. London's King Edward the Seventh Hospital. Okay. Uh, any others? Um, what's this word? Uh, stemming. Stemming. Okay, stemming. so okay, yeah, stemming. Stemming. 
Do you want me to define it or pronounce it? Um, both, I guess. Both. Okay, so it's pronounced like this. So repeat this after me. Stemming. Stemming. Yeah, good. Stemming. Okay. Stemming. Uh-huh. So, had been hospitalized for treatment of acute morning sickness stemming from her pregnancy. So, stemming, um, so it's like, the way that it's defined here, or used here, is like, it started from a pregnancy. So, here, who had been hospitalized for treatment of acute morning sickness. So, here, stop right there. The morning sickness, which stemmed from her pregnancy, which began from her pregnancy. Okay. So does does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to just double check the definition, because um, the definition might be easier for you guys to understand. Okay, so I'll, I'll let that load. Uh, any other questions about words? No. No. Okay. Any other words that you guys would like me to pronounce one more time? So here we go. So this is what the dictionary says. To arise or originate. This project stems from last week's lecture. So does everybody understand that definition? Yeah, okay, I get it. Okay, perfect. Uh, moving on. So now we're going to move down the article some more. Um, so the next two sections. Would somebody else like to volunteer and read? Sorry. You read? Okay, go for it. Nurse Jajita Sadanha, who put the call through the to a college who is turn described the details of Kate's condition, was found hanging in her room three days after the prank was broadcast across the world. Okay, good. Thank you. Stop right there. Okay, so what are some words that he can improve on. Mm. Improve on is colleague. like, yes, okay, so this word right here is pronounced colleague. colleague. So, colleague. Yeah, yeah, so one more time, ready? Colleague. Colleague. Good. Um, then, okay, so, uh, one thing, you, you pronounce this correctly, but you just want to make sure to emphasis on the uh, the possessive, because it's not just Kate condition. You want to make sure to say Kate's condition. There you go, because you want to hear that S, because otherwise it sounds like the details of Kate condition, which then people are going to say, oh, wait, that doesn't sound right. Okay. Um, okay, and then the other word... This word, it's past tense, um, so you want to make sure to also not forget the ed. So it's hanged. 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 Good. Yeah. So one more time, hanged. 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 Good. Okay. Uh, I think that was it. Did anybody else hear anything that maybe Tan could improve on? Um, maybe world. World. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's do that one as a group. So ready? World. 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 I think that's the trick one. World. Yeah, it's like the, the weird, the W is like, it's like world. world. Yeah. World. Kind of think world. of it like a whirlwind. Like a whirlwind, so world. Whirlwind. World. 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 Yeah. I just have a quest question about broadcast. That's a verb, isn't it? So it should be past tense, <laughs> according of, to my <laughs> view. Oh, wait, of which one? Broadcast. broadcast. So, but so, the prank was broadcast. It shouldn't be broadcasted. Broadcasted. I I don't know. I mean, like, let, let's double check the word because that that would make sense to me. Was broadcasted. Um. So, like here, you have the word broadcasted. Mm -hmm. Um. So to transmit is to broadcast. So I think. <clears throat> this is one of those weird English like rules. Like, I don't know. Maybe maybe you don't have to. I, I honestly don't know um, 
why they didn't put broadcast it. Because usually, maybe it's because it's it's it might have been written by somebody from uh, yeah, so it was written in London, I think. Um, oh. So maybe that's why they just said broadcast, and then maybe in the United States we say broadcasted. I don't know. That's a, that's a good question, Maria. But I think it should be because here, yeah, was found hanged. Then we have was broadcasted across the world. Okay. I mean, like technically, like I I've heard it used that way where it's not put in with ed or ed is not attached to it. Yeah, I've heard it before. Yeah, so so I mean, I don't know the technical rule for it. Okay. Yeah. Let's leave it. I can check it out later. Okay. Okay. Uh, any questions so far? No. Okay. Tan, will you continue reading, please, and read this next sentence? Okay. Prosecutors on Friday said there was no evidence to support a charge of manslaughter and despite some evidence to warrant further investigation of offenses under Britain da Britain's Data Protection Act and Malaysia's Communications Act, any potential prosecution would not be in the public interest. Good. Okay, so there were some difficult words there, and, and you pronounce them, most of them correctly. The only thing uh, that I heard was, okay, so this word, so the TH is a difficult sound, um, but here, re repeat this after me. There. 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 Yes, okay, so one more time. There. 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 Okay, there. good, good, good. Because you want to make sure... Because what some people do is they pronounce it, it sounds like a D, because it's, when when you pronounce it, it sounds like a D, but it's really the, the. So you want to make sure you emphasize that, so it's there, because otherwise it sounds like you're saying dare. Okay. Yeah. There. Yeah, so, the f so yeah, one more time. There. 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 Good, okay. There. Good. Okay. Uh, so, any questions or anything that anybody would like me to repeat, define, or pronounce out of the sentences? Charge that of, charge? Charge of, of, of man's much. Okay, yeah, that's shape. a difficult word. So, this is, Tan pronounced it correctly, so I'm going to uh, pronounce it, and then if you want to, you can pronounce it after me. Manslaughter. Manslaughter. Yeah. Manslaughter. 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 GH silent. Yeah? What was that? GH is uh, silent. Mans. Oh, the, the GH. Okay, so here, wait. Listen. Manslaughter. Slaughter. Man Manslaughter. There you go. Man there you go. Yeah, I mean, I guess it is kind of silent. Um. Yeah, manslaughter. Manslaughter. What is the meaning? What is the mean? Does anybody know the meaning of manslaughter? Yeah, it's murder. Yeah. It's like murder by accident, though. Mm -hmm. okay. So, like, murder is where, like, if I said, okay, I'm going to kill this guy, and then I go kill him. That's murder. But if I'm driving my car, and I'm, you know, driving really fast, and I run a red light, and I accidentally kill uh, John, who was crossing the street, then that's manslaughter. Because it was an accident. Um, it was. It's not like I was like, I'm going to go hit him, because I don't know him. So it's it's accidental uh, murder. It's manslaughter. Okay. It doesn't sound like that. Slaughter is like... I know. It's slaughter is, a, is like... Like, it makes me think of a butcher. Yeah. So it's the unlawful killing of a human being without malice uh, aforethought. So that's probably, okay, so the killing of a human being by another. So it's it's an accident, though. Um, it's uh, the unlawful killing of a person without malice or premediation or meditation. 
Um, so it's accidental. Involuntary manslaughter is accidental, such as running into someone with a car. Voluntary manslaughter is committed in the heat of passion, as in a spontaneous fight in which one person is killed by a strong blow. Manslaughter is usually considered less serious than murder. Both ma murder and manslaughter are types of homicide. So I guess involuntary is the one that I described where you hit somebody with your car. Voluntary manslaughter, um, where you know, you're in control, is like, it, like let's say me and Tan get in a fight and um, we're, we're fist fighting and I hit him hard and like I, I'm really angry and hit him super hard and he dies because of that. Then that's voluntary manslaughter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So does everybody understand that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, any other questions about vocabulary, or anything you'd like me to pronounce yeah. it? Act, what about war? Uh, what about what? Act, uh, warrant. Warrant. Where is that word? Oh, here we go. To warrant further. So right here, there we go. To warrant further investigation. So pronunciation, or would you like a definition? The pronunciation. <laughs> pronunciation. Okay. So I'll do. I'll do the definition too. So warrant. So it's like this. So repeat this after me. Warrant. 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 Good. Warrant. So yes. Yeah, so notice when I pronounce it. I'm not pronouncing the T because that's because I don't know. I guess that's the way I do it. I, I never really thought about it, but um, it's okay if you say warrant, and so you're <laughs> emphasizing the T. But warrant. listen to the way that I say it. Warrant. 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 There you go. Warrant. That's so like that's the way that I would pronounce it. Um, you could also you might also hear people say warrant. So whichever, either one, they're both correct. Uh, and the definition of that is to like permit. So some evidence to warrant further investigation. So to like permit. So despite some evidence to warrant further investigation. So it's like this evidence leads them to want to investigate further. So warrant. So it's like to give a th give authority to 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 authorize. So like since they have some evidence it warrants or authorizes further investigation. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, any other, yeah, justify, it kind of, kind of, justify is close. Um, yeah, I, you, I guess you could say that too, like, like some evidence, despite the evidence that justifies further investigation. So it's change, it changes it up a little bit. Justify is like to give reason to. So like this new evidence justifies further investigation because we have evidence so that makes us think okay we have this new evidence let's go further into the investigation so that's justify warrant is to authorize uh, any did, were there any other words that you wanted me to pronounce or define malicious malicious okay so so repeat this after me malicious Malicious. 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 Yeah, so that's a weird looking word. Malicious. So notice how it's spelled. So mal, it's it's exactly it's pronounced exactly how it's written. Mal. And then i is the I. Shus. So the C I O U S is pronounced like shus. Shus. Good, yeah. So so whenever you see words that end in C I O U S, you know that it's gonna be pronounced shus. So for this word, we look at it, we know it's malicious. Malicious. So that's how you can kind of teach yourself. When you look for patterns like that, that's how you can teach yourself how to pronounce things, you know, without having a native speaker with you. But malicious is full of, characterized by, or showing malice. So malevolent, spiteful. So it's kind of like uh, uh, mischievous or like... You know, you're doing it. Um, so malice is a des yeah. You're doing it on purpose. So desire to inflict injury or harm or suffering on another. So it's evil intent. So malicious is like evil. Evil. Yeah. There you evil. go. Evil. <laughs> evil. 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 Yeah. Uh -huh. Good. Okay. Uh, any other? Um, 
Yeah, the full sentence is a bit tricky because it says there are some evidence that warrants further investigation, but that is not in the public interest. So we don't know if there is going to be an investigation of offenses or not. Or do yeah. You? No, I don't know, because, okay, so here, I'm going to read it again. Uh, yeah, you're right. So, prosecutors on Friday said there was no evidence to support a charge of manslaughter. So, for this charge, so the, it sounds like there are multiple charges. So, we have the charge of manslaughter. We don't have evidence to support it, um, but then, you know, they're adding something different to it. They say, despite some evidence, so other evidence, to warrant further investigation. So, even though we can't say it's manslaughter, we have something. We have some clues that makes us think that we should, you know, uh, do some more investigation. Um, mm. But they're saying that any potential prosecution would not be in the public interest. So even if we used our evidence to investigate more and we say, oh, hey, we found this, you know, they did this and we can charge them with manslaughter for this, that would be a prosecution. But apparently that's not in the public interest. So they don't want to write about it right now. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I understand. Good, yeah, no, good. I'm glad you pointed that out because that's a little bit confusing. Um, does anybody else have any other questions about expressions or words or pronunciation? No, okay, good. Um, so let's move on to this next, these next two sentences. So would somebody like to volunteer who has not read? Yeah, yeah, I can. Okay. The Crown Prosecution Service said that decision was taken because it, it isn't possible to extradite from Australia for those potential offenses. And because, however misguided, the telephone call was intended as a harmless crime. DJs Michael Christian and Mel Grace apologized after the Saldhana's death in emotional interviews on Australian television, saying they never expected their child to Okay, good. Um, so a few things. So what are some <laughs> what are some words that he could maybe improve on? Just any any words that you know, N not I'm not saying that he pronounced them incorrectly, but words that you know we should repeat as a class to help him improve on and help everybody else improve on. <clears throat> Extradite. Yeah. So that's a difficult word. He pronounced it correctly, so but I'll pronounce it for you guys, so you guys can repeat it after me. <clears throat> Extradite. Extradite. Good. Extradite. Extradite. Yeah, extradite. Two syllables. Extra and dite. So extradite. Extra or, or extra. Extradite. No, 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 you're you're forgetting the second syllable. It's extradite. Extradite. There you go. Ex extradite. Perfect. <clears throat> and then the only other word that I, you know, sounded a little bit iffy was apologized. Apologize. So whoever was reading, can you pronounce this word one more time? Apologized. Apologize. Apologize. Good. Okay. Apologize. Yes. Good, 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 good. Okay. Um, let's see. What are some other words that... Um, uh, misguided. This word right here, misguided. Misguided. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's the meaning? Uh, misguided. 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 Okay. So, misguided is like lost. So, you know, the, the, the like... I'm gonna I'm gonna look this one up. Guided. So it's like um, misguided. So mistaken, Mis misled or mistaken. Their naive actions were a misguided attempt to help the poor. So it's it's kind of like to misdirect, to guide wrongly. So it's uh, 
you know, like not going in the right direction. Misguided could mean foolish or unreasonable in action or behavior. <clears throat> okay, any any other words as far as pronunciation or definitions? The crown of prosecution. What is mean? Prosecution. Crown of prosecution. Total case. So the Crown Prosecution Service. So that must be like a uh, I don't know a governmental service or just a company. Uh, but the word prosecution is when you prosecute somebody. So what that means is you know when you uh, institute legal proceedings against to seek or to seek to enforce or obtain by legal process to conduct criminal proceedings in court against. So it's like, um, let's let's no, say, I'm let's say you you break a law, then um, you might prosecute them, like to institute legal proceedings against them. Any other questions? <clears throat> yes, the word "saying" is "saying" or "saying." Uh. Is that in here, or yes. is that is that? Sorry, where is that? Oh, here we go. Saying, okay. So saying, um, it sounds like saying. So it's pronounced like this. So so, here, pronounce this after me. Saying. 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 So yeah, it's it's pronounced like say. In. That's one syllable. Say same. I think it's two. Say in. Because it's not just saying. It's say in. It's two syllables. So it's like this. Um, it's pronounced like this. Say in. Say in. Say in. It's two syllables. Um, so it's something said. So I, I think everybody knows, you know, what what that means. Um, but yeah, it's pronounced saying. 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 <coughs> Good. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, the last one it says uh, they are saying that uh, they never expected their call would be put through. So it means uh, they didn't think that their call would be connected. Yes. Put through is connected. Uh, yeah, exactly. Put through. Um, saying they never expected. So what they're saying here is they never thought their call would go through or be put through. As in it wouldn't work. Like they wouldn't accept it. Good. Okay. Uh, so I think that's it for this article. So I think the next one was we have technology, sports, um, and science. Let's try. Let's try technology. Um, okay. So let's do. Let's try. Let's try this one. Apple edges out Samsung for mobile phones sales lead in fourth quarter. So I'm going to post this one. So we have 15 minutes left. So we'll do this last article. Um, and I want to try and get everybody to read, especially those of you who have not read. Um, OK. So would somebody like to volunteer and read first? Yes. All right. Hello, Matthew. Yes. Can I hear you? Okay. Okay, yes. Yeah. Yes, Ahmed, you can read. Can I read, Matthew? Uh, Joe? Yes, yes. yes. Uh, title Apple Edge How Hot Samsung for Mobile Phone Sales Led in Fourth Quarter. Uh, San Francisco Apple Incorporations. Uh, become the top mobile phone seller for the first time Lori Craft USA uh, 
Yeah, hold on. Okay. Try reading now. Yes, okay. Uh, from the first? Yeah, just San start Francisco. back over. Uh -huh. uh, San Francisco, Apple Incorporations become the top mobile phone seller for the first time in the li Lord, uh, L lucrative USA. Lucrative, yes. Lucrative USA market uh, during the fourth quarter of the 2012. Outshining Arc, uh, Arc Revel, Samsung Electronics uh, Company Limited, a report uh, by Strategy Analytics, Analytics showed. Good, okay. So stop right there. So a few things. So uh, this first word, you, you're reading, you, you keep saying become, but this is the past tense, so it's became. Came. Yes. So, so everybody repeat this after me. Became. 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 Good. Okay. Became. Okay. Yeah, became. So that's the past tense. So important, important, important. Uh, one other thing. So this word is difficult. It's lucrative. 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 Good. Lucrative. 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 That's a, that's a difficult word. Yeah, lucrative. What does it mean? Uh, lucrative? It's kind of like, I think it's like crazy. Let's lucrative? See. No, I think it's monetary. Oh, you're right. Profitable. Yeah. yeah. Money making. I was thinking of the word ludicrous. We have the same <laughs> <laughs> Okay, lucrative. So, yeah. So, um, for the first... Uh, Apple Inc. became the top mobile phone seller for the first time in the lucrative or profitable US okay and then another thing Ahmed you said it says US but you said USA so if it says USA then you say USA but if it just says US then all you say is you know either United States market or United or US market uh, I think that was it for this uh, this arch. so this was yeah. arch Arch rival, yes. Arch. So this, this word. There are two words. Um, or it's pronounced two different ways. Arc and arch. So an arc is like, um, <clears throat> it's like a half circle. It's like, yeah. Uh, let's see if I can pull up a picture. Is it same spelling? Yeah, they're they're spelled the same, but they're two different pronunciations. Uh -huh. Arch is like arch nemesis, arch rival. So this is arc. In in this sentence, it's arc. This sentence, I think it's. Arch, really? Because it's arch rival. So, mm. um, let's find the adjective. Um, I'm trying to find where it is. Here we go. Arch, very experienced. An arch criminal. So is like very experienced. Expert, knowing, playfully or effectively roguish or mischievous. Um, so here we go. Leading or principal. So in this case, arch, like arch rival, is like the principal, like the main enemy. So here, it's uh, rival, so it's like the main enemy. So um, Apple's main enemy is Samsung. So arch rival. But an arc uh, refers to something in architecture. Okay. So like these, this is an arc, an arc. Yeah. Those are all arcs. It's the same spelling. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Any others? Yeah. How can we pronounce Apple Inc. Uh, Inc. Inc. Apple Inc. What did What did you mean? Inc. Stand. It's like. Incorporation. Uh, yes. Incorporated. It's actually incorporated. So Apple Incorporated, which incorporated means combined in one body, made part of uh, as a legal corporation. So the legal corporation of Apple. So Apple Incorporated, but it's shortened to Inc. So Apple Inc. Any other questions? So this is one in the chat. Mo mobile. Okay. Mobile. <laughs> uh, I think in, I uh, in, uh, in company. You can say mobile or mobile. 
Mobile. I say mobile. Mobile. Like, where's my mobile phone? It's what? Um, there are different ways to pronounce that word. Let's see. Mobile is British, I think. But it's never mobile. Or. Yeah, it's right here. So if you look what at what I'm looking at, this is mobile. You can say mobile. Actually, mobile, I think, is British. And then Ameri in the United States, it's mobile or mobile. Mobile or mobile is the United States. Mobile. I say mobile. Mobile. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then mobile is British. There's no, no rule for that. I mean, I is mostly pronounced I. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. But uh, sometimes organization or organization or uh -huh. mobile. So I don't know which, which is correct. I don't know which is correct. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's a weird word. Uh, were there any other questions in the hangout that or the chat that? No. Okay. Um, okay. Does anybody else have any questions about any of this this vocabulary or anything they'd like me to pronounce again? Um, what were you saying? When it's written um, U.S., you have to read U.S.A. or it's just U.S. No, no, no. Okay, so I, Ahmed. I so Ahmed. So if you look at it, it says U dot S dot yeah. and then market. So this is going to be read U.S. market. So okay. you're reading it. You say U.S. market. Now, if it if it says you could also read it the United States market. So in the lucrative U United States market. Okay, U, I US, thought we had to say um, USA. Okay. No, no, no. Ahmed um, accidentally said USA, but he, I think he, he just meant US, and he's just used to saying USA. But no, you just say US. Okay, now I get it. Okay, perfect. Any other questions? Okay. Ahmed, can you continue, please? Or maybe he Apple left. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay, okay. Sorry. Apple's share. Apple's share of the U.S. Mo mobile phone market, including including other phones and smartphones, jumped to 34% from to uh, 36 <laughs> While Samsung share grew, grew to 32.3% from 31.8%. That the shares Okay, somebody's microphone is making a really weird noise. It's like you're bending plastic or like rubber. I don't know. I think it's gone now. Um. Okay, so a few things there. Uh, so this, I don't know if this, like, uh, try, so pronounce this one more time. Jumped to. Jumped to. Good, okay, so um, Ahmed, you too. Jumped to. Jumped to. Yeah, okay, so on the jumped, make sure that you were pronouncing the ED. So it's jumped, like a T, jumped Two. Jumped. Jumped two. There you go. Jump. Jump two. Ahmed, I think your microphone is making like a weird. I don't know. It's making a weird noise. Um, that noise right there. I don't know what that is. It sounds it sounds weird. Uh, okay. And then this last part: research firm. So, pronu pronounce this with me. Research firm. Research firm. Okay, good. Uh, okay, does anybody have any questions about any of the vocabulary, or is there anything anybody would like me to pronounce? Um, how do you read um, the percentage? Um, 32.3 or? Yep, 32.3% okay. from 31.8%. Okay. Okay. Good question. Any other questions? What's 
feature phone. Feature. What's what? Fe feature phone. Uh, feature phone. Feature. feature phone. Oh, feature phone. Feature okay. Phones. Um, including feature phones and smartphone. What is a feature phone? Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think how to describe feature phone. Maybe it's like like an iPhone could be a feature phone, and a smartphone might be like a BlackBerry, or like a. I know feature phone. I think are like the 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 main attraction. So like Samsung Galaxy could be a feature phone. So it's like the ones that they're featuring. So right now, yeah. the phone that Apple's featuring is the iPhone 5. That's their feature phone. Mm -hmm. or if the one that they advertise, the latest one. Yes, yeah. the latest uh, one or the new, the newest version. Okay. Or n newest uh, product, yeah. Good. Uh, uh, an iPhone, is that a smartphone? Is, that, is it the same thing? I think an iPhone you might I think since iPhones like like iPods iPods are technically MP3 players but everybody calls them by their name iPod. Um, an iPhone is a smartphone because okay. like it, it technically is but everybody just calls it an iPhone like oh do you have an iPhone like rather than saying smartphone. Okay. It's just the way it's referred to. Joe. Yes. I have a, a topic that it's, uh, will be good to be in your next class uh, about the confusion word similar to live and live. You can pronounce it, uh, pr you can write it uh, in the same way, but pronounce it in different ways. Those are called, I think those are called homophones. Confused? Homophones. Yes. Homophones, yeah. Homophones, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, like, for example, C. Like, like C. Another, another one is like, uh, like there's C, like I see, and then C is in like the ocean. Yeah. No, okay. I, I mean, or, I mean, live uh, at the same. You write L I V E, and there's two meanings. Two uh, meanings. like oh, like read and, word. read and read. Yeah, yeah. Can you arrange uh, a class for it? Yeah, I can. That is actually a good idea because. Um, Tomorrow I'll be planning my classes, so I will definitely do that. Like arc okay. and arch. <laughs> Is yes, arc and arch okay. exactly. Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, any other suggestions while we're talking about it? No, I think time is up. It is. All right. Well, <laughs> thank you guys for coming. Um, Thanks, Joe. The next class that I'm teaching is right after this one, and it'll just be speaking about what would you do if the world ended today. Um, so if you guys want to come, please come. There might be another class offered at the same time. Uh, yeah, there's also one uh, with Troy. So this series will focus on how to diplomatically discuss current events with a specific emphasis on understanding another person's point of view. So that sounds pretty interesting. So um, I encourage you to either come to mine or go to his, whichever you, you like to uh, go to depending on the topic that you want to speak about um, but thank you guys for coming I hope this helped and if you have any questions you guys can contact me on my Facebook page which there's a link uh, if you look on the verb link page it says teachers Facebook page um, so if you, if you have any questions comments concerns let me know thank you guys thank, thank you, you. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye 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 see you guys bye